When we first came here earlier this year, we thought it would just be a great stop for the night on our way from Bangkok down to Koh Tao. But we quickly fell in love with this little beach town that's actually nestled between some of the country's best wineries and the biggest national park in all of Thailand. We then thought, well, we have to do a video highlighting this hidden gem. But the more we looked into it, we found that it's not a hidden gem at all and actually one of Bangkok locals' favorite getaway locations, Hua Hin. So we came to Hua Hin this time around with the highest hopes and great plans to explore the entire area. Unfortunately, it didn't all go according to plan. So we've been in Thailand for about a month now. Mm -hmm. It kind of surprised us actually. Yesterday we were sitting by the pool and we were like, all right, you know what? We need to extend our visas so that we can stay here another month, but we don't need to do that until the 7th. Look at each other like, that's... Oh crap, that's, that's tomorrow. tomorrow. And if it's your first time in Thailand, it's super easy to get a visa extension. You just head down to the immigration office, you pay 1,900 baht, and you just fill out paperwork, get your photo done, and they stamp you for another 30 days. We actually did it the first time we were here a few months ago, and it was no problem at all. It took like 20 minutes. So. Yeah, just in and out real quick. Yeah. We'd seen a couple other people online talking about their process, and we're like, it can't be that easy. Yeah, it's, it's that so easy. easy. It's yeah. that easy. So, so we're just waiting for our Uber, and then we're gonna head to the immigration office quick, get that done, so we can show you more of the Hua Hin area. Let's go. We just passed a couple of our favorite night markets here in Hua Hin. The Tamarind Market and the Kakata Market, I believe is what it's called. Two of the most popular markets in the entire town and this entire part of Thailand. Except the unfortunate part is they're only open on the weekend. Yeah, like they, I'm so disappointed about that. Yeah. Maybe they don't get enough business in the weekdays, I'm not too sure. Yeah, if you had seen our last video, we went to the Hua Hin Night Market, which is open every night of the week, so there is that. Yeah. But definitely worth the trip especially on a weekend from bangkok to hua hin come check out these night markets yeah the best we've seen in the entire yeah. country by far hopefully this is quick and easy Hopefully it's as quick and easy as it was in Phuket, for sure. D21. And we're all signed up. We're ready to spend another 30 days here in Thailand. So we're excited to really dive back into the adventures here in the last month that we're here. We're just heading down right now to get some scooters yeah. and then we'll just take it from there. Let's go. We've gotten really lucky with the weather. On the days we're working, it's sometimes raining. And then on the days that we're going out to venture and go to the beach, it's been really nice. So we've been really lucky. <laughs> we have made it. Oh, we today? We would just like to rent some bikes. Perfect. So one thing to keep in mind when you're renting some of these scooters as a foreigner, a couple things you'll need. You need an international driver's license or some kind of local licensing. We thankfully got our international driver's license before we left. You're also gonna to wanna to make sure that you're insured. We use Safety Wing for all of our Nomad insurance, so make sure to check out their link in the description below. And then also, they're gonna to wanna to take a copy of your passport. Some of them even wanna hold on to your passport for the entire time that you have the bike. A $3,000 deposit, and then you get to go.
Now would be a great time to tell you a little bit more about Safety Wing. Safety Wing is a travel and medical incident insurance built specifically for digital nomads. They have been keeping us covered since we first arrived here in Southeast Asia. Now this accident could not have happened in a better place at all as it happened just outside of a veterinarian clinic where some very nice ladies were working and helped patch me up. But had they have not been there or it had been any worse, we always feel a much better peace of mind knowing that we're covered medically with Safety Wing. Safety Wing is super affordable and is a fraction of the price of other competitors. We are covered for medical care in emergencies like bike accidents and travel hassles such as coverage for travel delay and lost luggage. Also, if you happen to forget to purchase your travel insurance before leaving your home country, no worries. You can also purchase through Safety Wing while already traveling abroad. Now this video is not sponsored by Safety Wing, but we just found it was quite fitting for what happened in the video. And for those of you that are interested in knowing how we have that medical peace of mind while traveling abroad and living a nomadic life. If you're interested in learning more about Safety Wing, make sure to check the link in the description below. All right, so <laughs> enough of the whole motorcycle accidents and insurance thing. We march right on. Went home, got to change the shirt because mine got all scuffed up. I'm bandaged up though and we've taken a bit of a detour. So we planned to go to the lookout point, but after putting the bike down, we wanted to just kind of regain our bearings back at home for a Take few it moments. A bit easier. And now we've slowed down a bit. <laughs> but it's gotten so hot outside too that we needed to come stop by the, I forgot what it was called for a second, <laughs> the market village here in Hua Hin. A, I can get a new pair of sandals after busting up my sandals <laughs> on the bike, but we're getting hungry and here they have a street food market downstairs so you can get that local street food but not be outside in the heat. You can escape the heat and go downstairs and get a real good lunch here. They've got some international flavors with McDonald's, Burger King, Starbucks, all that as well. So if you're looking for somewhere to get out of the heat, grab a bite to eat, this is the place we'd recommend yeah. for sure. So we're excited to go check it out. And it's cool too because they've got a little bit of a tree market outside here, so let's go check out some bonsai trees and stuff. Oh, that's a cute little heart. I like those bonsai trees. I would definitely get one. I know. I want lots of trees. <laughs> lots of trees. Too bad we can't put them in our suitcase. Yeah, we can't put bonsai <laughs> trees in our suitcase, so. I really want to, though. Yeah. But yeah, it's a pretty cool little mall. They got some Nice stuff here. There you go, some underwear. The underwear thankfully did not get too damaged. <laughs> Just might have pooped yourself. Yeah. So in Thailand, they have these food markets or like food ports everywhere. And whenever you come, you can't pay with your debit card, credit card, or cash. You just need to get a cash card, load it up, and then every stall takes it. So just loading up the card. Got the card. Let's get some food. So it's Chinese. Chinese. They got some Penang curry and stuff too. They got the duck. Duck. Love duck. <laughs> Love duck. Beef and rice. Japanese curry. I don't even know that it's a thing. Well, I don't know what I want. Everything looks so good. You know this is where I'm probably settling. As per always, Pad Kapow. Gotta do it. You know what I think I might do? What? I think I might start like a best Pad Kapow, like a Pad Kapow ranking. I think that's a great idea. You know how Dave you. Portnoy does like the pizza <laughs> reviews? We're gonna do like a Pad Kapow <laughs> review. Now, unlike the pizza reviews, we can't necessarily go by crispy crust or flop or any of that. But looking at it first glance, the meat to rice ratio is a little low, I'm gonna be honest. One bite. <laughs> Gotta get a little egg in there. It's a good flavor. You got that nice Thai basil flavor. Not the spiciest though. I like it spicy. I asked her to make it spicy, it's not that spicy. So, like Dave said one bite, everyone knows the rules, and then I took my five. I'm gonna give it a 7.2. It's pretty good, it's pretty good. It's got some good flavor in it. The meat to rice ratio is a little low, and it could be a little spicier, but that fried egg makes up for it a little bit, and the flavor is good, so 7.2. First entry, 
Welcome to the Pack of Power Reviews. It's here at the food market, the street food market in Market Valley, Quahin. Market Village, Market Village Quahin. Start that all over. So, the first review of the Pack of Power Reviews is here in the Market Village Quahin Street Food Market. 7.2, mark it down. We'll move on to the next one in future videos. So we went to a couple shoe stores. Didn't really like what we were seeing. So we've come to Lotus, which is kind of like the Southeast Asia version of Walmart. Got a little bit of everything. All right, sandals check. We're all done here at the Market Village Mall now though. After those bumps and bruises, I think we could uh, go for a little drink ski here tonight. So we did find when we were down by the beach there the other day, real cool spot to kind of dive into the nightlife side of things. So I think we're gonna go there right now. And we have come down to Soy Bintabat. Supposed to be the happening place here in Wahin. Looks pretty lit up to be completely honest. Let's go check it out. So we had a great night partying down on Soy Bintabot, but after attempting to numb the pain a little bit, we ended up feeling a little bit worse for wears. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> The next morning I was just kind of feeling way too sore, way too just like sore, tired, <laughs> a little hungover, and it just wasn't going to work out for us to continue filming the way that we had planned. We wanted to go out, adventure some of the viewpoints, go check out the winery in Hua Hin. Yeah. Unfortunately we couldn't do any of that thanks to me being a little careless on the yeah. bike and smashing it just our last couple days. We basically just kind of hung out, laid low and kind of healed up for the rest of our Thailand adventures. Yeah, it was quite disappointing because I felt like we spent too much time in Bangkok and then we spent too much time in Hua Hin and we didn't do what we had planned for Hua Hin. Yeah, we came back to the country because there's a few things we didn't check off last time and we thought, oh, we'll put in a couple familiar favorites mm -hmm. along the way as well. It's basically the only two places we spend most of our time <laughs> here so far. So we jumped on a bus headed 12 hours down south, and we are currently in the province of Krabi, yeah. which we are super excited it's for. It's gorgeous. Like it first is absolutely impressions, beautiful. like absolutely loving it. It's so cool, because it's like right on the ocean, and then you've got like the beautiful limestone mountains, like right off our balcony here. Yeah, you can yeah. see it in the far distance there. That's one thing that kind of surprised me, is like traditional long boats and the big limestone mountains coming out of the water. But inland, they've also got a number of limestone mountains, which makes sense, I yeah. guess, like it doesn't, just stop at the beach but yeah. it is a beautiful town we're here in Ao Nang and we're gonna be here for about a week maybe a little bit longer yeah. as we kind of tour around we're doing some island hopping actually some beach hopping because this technically is mainland but we're in Ao Nang and then we plan to go over to Koh Lanta mm -hmm. which is another really awesome looking spot we've yet to check out but yeah. we've heard nothing but good things about so we are hitting two new destinations which we're super excited for and then we are heading to a whole new country which is Vietnam Vietnam, which we are so excited about we've always wanted to go and for Vietnam we're actually setting a goal because it's super easy as digital nomads to kind of get a bit like comfortable in a place yeah it can certainly yeah. be and we've been guilty of that recently yeah. where we just kind of hunker down and get back into some old routine yeah. habits which are not the most productive habits yeah. and not the healthiest habits yeah. so we plan to kind of stretch the limits a bit more and get more adventurous in this next yeah area. so in vietnam our goal is to hit all eight regions or seven, seven. depending we, on what you order article you're reading yeah kind of heard mixed things because on google it's like there's some that say seven some that say eight so we're going with eight okay yeah. <laughs> so we plan to hit all eight regions which we are so excited for in 90 days so yeah 90 days That's our goal. every corner of the country if you're familiar with vietnam or have any recommendations let us know in the comments below. Mm -hmm. We'd love to check off some of the things you'd like to yeah. see or learn more about. Let us know for sure. But yeah, this video didn't go exactly mm -hmm. according to plan, but we would still strongly recommend checking out Hua Hin. Beautiful beach town. We've been there twice now and we absolutely loved it. Yeah. Kind of a home away from home to some degree as well. Yeah. If you're looking for a place to just kind of hunker down and relax, get away from the buzz of Bangkok, mm -hmm. We would definitely recommend checking yeah, it out. We love Hua sure. Hin, but we've, we've said we're not going back now for a long time. Yeah. 
Because we get too comfortable there. Yeah, like it's we too said, comfy. yeah, we just love it so much. Yeah. <laughs> so if you are looking for that quieter place, we'd recommend it for sure. But we're looking to turn the dial on the adventure knob a little bit and get a little bit higher pace, see some new places, try some new things, eat some new foods. We're Be really a bit excited. More adventurous. We're really excited <laughs> for Vietnam. But like we said, we would love for you to get more involved. Make sure to click subscribe, ring a ding ding dong that bell, so you'll be notified of our future videos. Until next time, bye. bye.